Did you see this insane crypto news? Buffett embarrassing himself again. Twitter makes a crazy crypto partnership. Solana is shipping a phone. That's cool, I guess. And for some reason, for some reason, FTX could be relaunching again soon. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't even know. But first, two very exciting charts that I want to share with you. First is Bitcoin. And while we are still a few days away from getting in that weekly close confirmed, things are looking very curious right now. If we do close above the orange line on this chart here, this will represent a massive moment for this Bitcoin rally because not only will it conquer that very stubborn and tough resistance that held us down for three weeks around $28,000, but it's also going to be a flip of the 2021 market support. Big stuff. The Ethereum charts also looking very sexy. Not only do we have that big fat green candle for Ethereum, bucking off all the fears about the unlocks around the Shanghai upgrade, but we're also overcoming a key area of price resistance at $1,950. A close above 2,000 could really cement in that reversal here. So right now I'm keeping a keen eye on the weekly closes to really confirm that is a very exciting time in crypto. Also, I want to share this fun story with you. The French stock market has just hit a new all-time high. You know, inflation's raging, the war in Ukraine is still going on, recession fears in the USA, what's going on with OPEC and the oil markets? The French just said, non merci, fais le pompe, fais le pompe. French man, I love it, I love it, keep it classy, guys. In other news, Warren Buffett back on the Bitcoin bashing train. You know, the dude who called it rat poison, but he's back with another bold statement. Buffett has called Bitcoin a gambling token in a new interview with CNBC. He went on to say the urge to participate in something that looks like easy money is a human instinct, which was always there. Okay, okay, Warren, look. Warren, he's a dinosaur. I love him. He's got some great stuff that he's done in the past, but he has no crypto. The crypto game's not that easy, man. It's not even close. And also, can we please just stop asking Warren about Bitcoin? It's just embarrassing at this point. Like, let the dude live down his stock legacy and stop letting him embarrass himself on Bitcoin. Hit the thumbs up if you agree that we should stop asking Warren Buffett about Bitcoin finally. We all know that Warren Buffett, he's benefited massively from the fiat standard, right? He's an old school guy. He had old school ways of making money. So he's not really incentivized to support Bitcoin, right? It goes against much what he stands for. I get it. But what's telling here is that Buffett is quietly and indirectly sitting on a lot of Bitcoin. Yes, you heard that right. See, Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway owns around 12.9% of Bank of America. Bank of America, in turn, owns around 2.37% of MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy, of course, owns around 140,000 Bitcoin. If you do the math calculations here, dick, 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 this means that Berkshire Hathaway has claimed to roughly 228 Bitcoin. Not to mention that Berkshire investments in Brazilian bank Nubank also give it very strong crypto market access because they offer Bitcoin and Ethereum trading at that bank. Now look, obviously I'm not saying that Buffett owns Bitcoin. That would be absurd. The point that I'm trying to make here is that Bitcoin doesn't care what he thinks. It's winning anyway. Bitcoin is becoming ubiquitous. Bitcoin cannot be ignored. And Bitcoin is increasingly hard to escape. It's everywhere and in everything. Now this next story I have for you is one straight out of the Twilight Zone. FTX might be making a comeback. Somehow it came back. Oh man, according to a report from Reuters, the FTX bankruptcy proceedings have revealed $7.3 billion in both fiat and crypto has been recovered. Now this is a massive increase in recovery efforts from the one billion that was initially reported, which of course has now opened up the conversation for a comeback. A law firm partner has said, when we talk about restarting, rebooting, it's not totally clear what they have in mind. There could be a rebooting in the sense of just reopening the exchange with a limited purpose for just getting assets off of the exchange, or it could be something more. And look, with crypto being crypto, FTX's FTT token mooning again was up like 45% just minutes after the news broke. Why? Just why? I can't even just... Ah. Anyway, let me know in the comment section, would you use a new FTX exchange if they do indeed end up launching? Just write a simple yes or no whether you'd use that exchange. For me, it's a hard pass, but you know, everybody's got their opinion. Now, before I get into the big Solana and Twitter news, I will let you know about my weekly newsletter, Wealth Mastery. Look, if you struggle to find time to keep up with all the news happening in crypto, with the best opportunities that are happening in the crypto market, then this 
is a newsletter for you. We have the best alpha on altcoins, NFTs, decentralized finance, airdrops, and much, much more coming straight to your inbox. Join our over 63,000 weekly readers and sign up for free. Yes, I did say free. Use that link down below in the description. Now let's talk about Solana and actually Uniswap as well because they're both making a move into the mobile space. You see, there's a bit of a battle of mobile products heating up across crypto, but particularly at Uniswap and Solana right now, both of them launching new products in the last few days. So Uniswap has finally launched its iOS mobile wallet after Apple initially rejected the App Store listing the first time around. You see, the Uniswap team, they made an announcement last month that Apple was actually going to be blocking the app from going live, which was some BS if you ask me. But Uniswap is now out of Apple jail and has launched in most countries. So that's pretty cool. The new wallet will allow users to swap tokens on the Ethereum network, on the Polygon network, on Arbitrum, and on Optimism. The wallet itself can be connected to really any application on the Ethereum network via Wallet Connect. So this is something like a MetaMask competitor, right? So a new hot Web3 wallet potentially. Solana, on the other hand, has finally launched its Web3 smartphone. The smartphone called Saga will go on public sale from May 8th, but pre-order devices will start shipping immediately. Now, Saga is an Android smartphone with a crypto twist built in. You see, it's built on hardware from the smartphone company OSOM and will use Solana's mobile stack of custom add-ons to integrate cryptocurrency technology right into the phone's hardware and of course into its software. Saga has a custom dApp store that only lists applications from the world of crypto. So this is a very crypto specific phone. Now currently there's over 10 applications covering crypto trading, uh, inter-wallet communications, music, and digital collectibles with more scheduled to be coming in over time. The Web3 phone will cost you around a thousand bucks and will come with 512 gigabytes of storage, two back camera lenses, and a 6.67 inch OLED display and fingerprint scanner. So all the usual stuff you'd wanna see from a phone. What's I think exciting here is that now we're entering a world of really mobile first crypto, and that's pretty exciting. Now let's talk about Twitter because this is some massive news as well. And no, I'm not talking about Elon Musk embarrassing the living heck out of that BBC journalist the other day. I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about because you can't give me a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I could just lied. I mean, somebody call an ambulance. It's pretty funny though. Anyway, the big news from Twitter is that they just partnered with eToro. You see, Elon Musk wants Twitter to become the biggest financial institution in the world. Remember, remember, Elon Musk started PayPal, right? Well, he's been making moves this week to make his vision of turning Twitter into an everything app into a reality. Twitter has partnered with trading app eToro to allow users to be able to buy and sell both stocks and cryptocurrencies through Twitter. This builds on the real-time trading data from TradingView that's already been integrated uh, into Twitter through the cash tags feature of using a dollar sign in front of a ticker symbol. Now, as part of this partnership here with eToro, the cash tag feature is also going to now be expanded out to cover a lot more asset classes. And users will also see a view on eToro button that will then take them straight over to eToro's website to be able to buy and sell assets. Now this news comes just days after Elon merged Twitter Inc. with his company X Corp, which means that Twitter is no longer really existing as an independent entity anymore. It is now part of Elon Musk's broader parent and company, X Holdings Corp. Twitter, I think it's about to get a lot crazier in the near future with crypto and stocks being much easier to buy. And of course, just getting the algorithm better now that Elon's in charge. Anyway, that's it. Subscribe now. I'll see you next time.